What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum, and earlier this week I did a video talking about how to photo match basketball cards for games that you attended by using ComC and Getty Images, and I figured I'd do a follow-up video to that because sometimes you'll discover that you're looking at cards and you're trying to match them up for images, and the images aren't actually on Getty Images, so you're looking for something that's just not out there. So how do you figure out what game those cards are from. And I've got a great example here that I want to share with you today. Um, and I'll tell you, you know, something that I've gotten used to doing is when I go to a game, I try to make note of different uniforms the teams are wearing or different things that took place in that game. And I kind of know, you know, going forward, hey, I'm going to look for this on cards to see maybe if some of that stuff will show up. So a great example of that is a game that I went to on May 16th of 2021. And technically it was a Raptors home game, but it was in Tampa because of the pandemic. It was a Pacers-Raptors game. It was the last regular, the last game of the regular season, I should say. And I remember that a lot of players set out, but O'Shea Brissett played. He was still relatively new to the Pacers, about 20 games in. And he scored 31 points, which was his career high. So I was in the gift shop and I didn't really want to buy a bunch of Raptors stuff. And they didn't have a lot of stuff in general because it's really not their home arena. But I wanted to buy something to commemorate that game, and I couldn't find anything. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to forego buying something, and I'm going to put that money toward a card in the future instead, maybe a Brissette card. Maybe they'll even make one that features something from this game. So fast forward a long time from that game to when 2021-2022 Prism came out, and there was an O'Shea Brissette card in there, and I looked at it, and my first thought was, oh, you know, this absolutely has to be from the game that I went to. So um, I went straight to Getty Images and I typed in the game date, uh, which was May 16th, 2021. I did Pacers, Raptors, um, similar to what I showed you in the previous video. Remember, you got to hit editorial here. And this one game came up, of course. So then um, I'm going to add O'Shea to the end of that. And we've got 10 images here. And if you're looking here, I thought, okay, well, you know, this one's kind of close, but it's not exactly the same. And I know I've cut one image off here, but it's just him dribbling. I think that was actually used on a different card photo, but um, that image from that prism card is not here. But in my mind, I'm thinking, no, that absolutely has to be from that game. So, you know, that's where you have to think about context and context clues. And if you remember, I did a video on 2021-22 Prism where I basically lamented the fact that they made zero effort to update free agent signings, trades, etc. So all the photos were old. I'm still not happy about that, but it benefits me here because I know pretty much every photo from that set took place during the 2020-2021 season. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up. Um, I've already got it pulled up here. I'm going to go to Basketball Reference. I'm going to type in O'Shea Brissett, and if you scroll down, it'll show you his career game logs, and I remember that game was at the end of the 2020-2021 season, which there were only 21 games there, so, you know, the odds are pretty good here, but if you click on the season when you're on a player's page, it will give you a detailed breakdown um, of their game logs, so once you do that, you'll see, okay, he only played 21 games. And, you know, I could go through every game here, but I'll kind of speed it up for us. He only played one game against Toronto. And I even double-checked, hey, you know, they don't have preseason on here. I looked at the Pacers' preseason schedule. They only played three preseason games that year, none of them against the Raptors. So the only game he played against the Raptors was, in fact, this game in Tampa. And then if you look at the Getty images, you know, the uniforms are the same. Everything's pretty much the same. So, you know, that tells me that we do, in fact, have a match, even though this is not on Getty Images. So I'm pretty excited about that, and I will be tracking down some of those Brissett cards. I have a gold on the way. It's not in hand yet, but uh, that was one that I definitely had to add, and that's going to be my souvenir from that game. Now, I have one more quick example that I want to give you um, uh, from that same game, I believe. So the other day, someone sent me a care package and it had a TJ McConnell autograph in it from 2021, 2022 crown Royale. And I looked at this card and I thought the same thing. I'm like, man, that has to be a card from this Raptors game. 
So I went in here and I did the same thing that I did with uh, O'Shea. And I put TJ's name in. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. And you see, all right, he's looking to the side here. Let's see if we see that in any of the pictures. And you can't see this one here, but he's looking straight on here. So no, he's not in any of those pictures. But I'm thinking once again, no, I'm looking at the uniform style. It's got the Slick Leonard tribute patch on the shoulder there. I'm looking at the floor. This has to be that Raptors game. So what I did is I um, kind of went back and looked at the card a little bit closer. Okay, are there any clues in this card where the background... It looks really blurry here, but there actually is one big clue, and it's right here. Look at this advertisement. Now, looks like just some ordinary guy. At first, I thought it might even be Pat McAfee. Maybe that was an Indiana home game. But I went through Getty Images, and I looked actually looked at the scoring table to see if I could find that ad somewhere. And I knew it wouldn't be the exact same picture, but it um, took me a little while, and I scrolled through here, and... Hopefully I'll come across it here in a moment. I know I saw it at some point. Okay, there we go. So you can see there's that same ad there with those three guys in this picture and then also in this picture right here. So I'm going to pull up this one right here with Stanley Johnson. And you can see, okay, that's an ad for a, I believe, a radio show on TSN, which is uh, from Toronto. And it's a radio show called Overdrive. So then I went on Google and looked at it, and yes, that is in fact what it is. So that tells me, okay, that is also a game against the Raptors because you wouldn't have a Toronto radio station doing advertisements in any local NBA arena other than one for the Raptors. So there you have it. That's how I identified those two cards and figured out they were in fact from a game that I went to. I have another example like this from all the way back from 2016. I didn't want this video to run too much longer. It's already over seven minutes here, but that one actually involves matching people up in the crowd. So drop, stop what you're doing right now. Drop me a comment saying, hey, we want to see the crowd video. If that's something that interests you, um, I think that could be a fun video to make as well. Until then, remember there are new episodes of the audio podcast that come out every Thursday. And as always, thanks for watching. <music>